Hello, everybody. I, I, I like father, like son, right? <laughs> Look at this yeah. bald bitch right here, and I'm not talking yeah. about myself. I have a twin. Yeah, and his name so, is Urinating Tree. Tell us how so, this happened. Well, what ended up happening was I went to get a haircut this morning. It was just, you know, basic stuff. I usually do like one and a half on the sides and then like a little taller in the front, spike it up, you know, make it like a military style cut. What ended up happening was she ended up buzzing it like the whole way like this. So it was just like, and I'm just like, fuck it, just shave it off. <laughs> so it's the first time I've had a buzz cut since high school. <laughs> it looks all right. I, I'll, yeah, I'll, like, I'll, I mean, I'll, I have the head shape for it, like, but yeah, you're lucky. Looks... You you could be, I mean, you look like Leonard from Full Metal Jacket, which is fine a little bit, but Leonard, uh, uh, is that Gomer Pyle? I don't know. That's not a good Yeah, name. Gomer Pyle, his real name's Leonard, but yeah. yeah. And then I, and then I go crazy and shoot the drill instructor. Yes. What's really inaccurate about that scene is it's impossible to get ammunition in the barracks. Like they count all the bullets in, they count them out, like it's a really unrealistic scene like there's it's no way to stimulate tension in a man being broken that's all they did it for it's yeah crazy. yeah i mean but in in real life basic training like you would not be able to get live ammo off the range or in, in any case have live ammo and maybe he brought it in maybe he snuck it like the hat, jelly donut but no that's it's um it's unrealistic Anyway, mm -hmm. they wait till you get out in the field before you off yourself. Graf Von T. Roll started with a bomb. bitty bomb. So why don't you read this in honor of your baldness, and then we'll get into right. the crux of the show. You would say that. Assuming realignment strikes the ACC next, where do you think Pitt would go? In theory, it should be a fit for the Big Ten given its AAU status, but I have a feeling Penn State's politicking may prevent this from happening. The, I, a Big Ten doesn't need the Pittsburgh market. If there's going to be anywhere they go, it might be the Big 12. So the Because Big they 12, need the Pittsburgh market. Right. That's a great segue because the Big 12 appears to be falling apart before our very yeah. eyes. Like, um, well, the Big 12 and the Pac. Pac let's see. Yeah. Yeah. The Pac 12 also. What, what are the offers? I thought, I thought I saw what the offers were. Big 12 alignment. Yes. Who are the schools? Yeah, Oregon wants to join the Big Ten. So the Pac-12 is, um, yeah, so it's the Big 12 is trying to poach from the Pac-12. That's right. Mm -hmm. I got it backwards. It's, it's like how the Big East was 15 years ago. Right, right. But now the Big East doesn't even exist. So Yeah, it's the AAC, the All-American Conference. I, I think like that the Pac-12 really knuckles down and starts trying to lock their schools into a or even like they bring in like teams from the mountain west colorado state colorado boise state stuff like that yeah yeah this is an opportunity for boise state to move byu the they could even do them yeah um but for the most part um it just seems like the pac-12 is in a lot of trouble like they are going to get dismayed they already lost their not not necessarily their two. Well, USC was a big team, right? Mm -hmm. But UCLA, it's like, ah, whatever. Well, UCLA, you're doing that for LA. That's right. why you're doing that. You're doing if, it for that market. If the pack USC, you're doing Oregon, for San Fran, San Jose. Right. Wait, that's Stanford, sorry. Right. If the Pac-12 loses Oregon, they'll just be a conference at like the yeah. WAC or whatever that no one stays yeah. up to WAC, WAC Mountain West, like mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like if you lose Stanford, Oregon. Arizona and Arizona State, you might as well just fold the division. How come they haven't come? You know how the MAC conference has a Wednesday night MACTION? How yeah. come the WAC doesn't have Wednesday, like Thursday night WACTION? Hmm? How come they never came know. up with that? Well, because they'd be competing with Thursday night football. I'm saying WACTION, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another fitty bomb here. I prefer no whack November. Yeah, no whack, no nut November. That's where all your hair went. Was to, right. You're having no hair June, July is what's going on. Why don't you read Ryan Owens' 50 bomb? Sure thing. Yeah. Who will win the arms race in the college football conference race? I say no one. Will KD screw up like the NBA again like in 2016? 
Also, can we please have Darian's Twitter locked on race day? He got too much power to jinx. Finally, RFK Stadium is dying. Yes, apparently that caught fire. Yeah, so I read, so I put on TikTok I, uh, that a little snippet on RFK, and someone commented that he was part of the crew that walked through for the final demo. So it is slated. I, I You know, you don't really, how much stock do you put in on TikTok? But um, it seems credible that they're getting ready to destroy it because it actually was supposed to be demolished in 2019 mm -hmm. but now uh i guess it just caught fire or they were doing some work and they just fucked up so yeah yeah it's just probably like an issue like um mile high stadium yeah yeah they'll, they'll get it down it it, it 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 doesn't need to be standing anymore yeah but, i mean yeah. the land has more value than the old stadium itself i'm I would love for the new stadium to go there. Honestly, it's the only good place in yeah. DC. That's all. That's all Dan Snyder wants, and you don't want to give Dan Snyder what he wants. Yeah, but it seems like he doesn't want that because RFK is too convenient for him. Like, it's easy to get in and out of if you take the metro. Like, he's not going to be able to charge as many people parking. Like, he makes too much money off of FedEx. He wants to put it in a place where he can exploit the fan base. That's that is course. Dan Snyder to Dan Snyder is a fuck. Yeah. He wants to exploit his fan base who no matter what just shell the money out for a shitty ass pro Oh my god, here we go. Oh jeez. Oh god damn. He a 2 k Big guns are coming out. Damn, they are coming out today and we got another 20 bomb after that too. Jeez. Thursday night, Waction came for true today. Now all of us are hairless dummies. Ferrari's pit box needs to be fired into the Mediterranean. Colorado was an auto body repair shop on speed dial for all the dingers. It was also Montana and Yu Yang's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Montana and Yu Yang, the official mascots of the dumpster fire. I don't know if I've showed you yet, but he a sent this to me in the Ooh, mail. Very I'm going nice. to build it for him. I haven't had time to build in a while, but I will be building this for him. I saved his address, and I will be sending it back to him, pristine nice. and beautiful. This is a really Ooh. nice kit. So yeah, I will high quality mold. He will have there. a custom red Toyota GT1 TS021 when it's all done. I have to build. A nice little carrying. Very thing. nice. But trust me, he I have it. I'm going to build it for you. I'm just, uh, I've had computer trouble and it's been hard to. Yeah. You still so, having issues with a computer? Like. Yeah. So I, <laughs> the main, the big one died. Oh, and then I thought you got that repaired. Well, I went and got it repaired and then it started messing up again. And they were like, mm -hmm. oh, it's the Ram. It's the, it's something, you know, and then. It turns out it was the motherboard, but my wife's computer that she doesn't use also Jeez. died. So I was able to take the parts from that and I'm putting the two computers down to one. And then basically I have a scrap com computer for parts when I'm done, but mm -hmm. at least I'll have it up and running. So what I did to Best Buy was I went and bought a laptop and then I have two weeks to return it. So um i'm that's what i'm doing work on now is this temporary laptop essentially i'm renting it from best buy <laughs> <laughs> this is what uh will happen but i get the pc back on thursday but thank you he a for the hundred dollar bomb if you're around at the end we'll bring you on and we'll get to say we'll all get to celebrate um the kitty's birthdays so mm -hmm. congrats connor Aker started with joey chestnut is a national treasure yeah he got attacked while eating hot dogs, and you never attack a man. He had a protester talking about like the Death Star for it was Star Smith, Wars, I believe. And then the dudes at like Chestnuts giving him the, the stranglehold. He's on crutches, dealing with a shit ton of adversity. A lot of people are comparing this to Michael Jordan's flu game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the flu Joey game of Chestnut. hot dog, and he still won. Listen, if you inhale phallic hot dogs as your job, like, there's really no moral high ground for you. 
right? Like you just stuff your face with big, large dongs all day. Oh yeah. And you're just like, oh. Look, have you seen how he does it? Like he get like him oh, yeah. and Kobayashi. Like, there's, like, there's a train. Like you can't just even chew it. You have to just swallow it. Like there's a lot yeah. of training that goes in that stomach elasticity. You have to starve yourself for a couple days. I think his record is like 75 and like no one comes close to the way that he sucks down hot dogs. Like he is just the, the hot dog wolfing machine. If he was a woman, he'd be very popular. Cause he's <laughs> somebody make that a gift. <laughs> All right. Uh, Red Rhino. That British GP is the best race of the season so far. Yes, I agree. From the three car battle. For second and third to the protesters on the track. Happy signs finally won a race. And my driver of the day is the Halo. Yeah, the Halo saved uh, oh, Joe yeah. Guan Yu's life. Joe Guan Yu. I said it right. And uh, yeah, he 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 got hit. He, he, wasn't, he was just minding his own business. He got hit by, I believe, Albon went into him flipped him and then went over the barrier in between the catch fence and the barrier and walked away and was fine doing interviews after just like being like, Holy shit. I almost died. Anyways, graph on T roll gonna definitely miss pack 12 after dark. God damn it. Why don't you East coaster stay awake for God's sake? Cause we don't get to watch games at six o'clock. Like y'all it was Russell. That's right. It was Russell who flipped into him. But I think Albon got caught up in that race too. Um, or that um, accident. Accident. Yeah, Albon was definitely caught up in that race. Ian McGordy, college football is too predictable. On a side note, has Tree ever been asked to change his name? What do you For, mean? Um, you mean like the actual name, Urinating Tree? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen, I've had that happen before. They introduced you at the baseball game as Tree, not your. Well, I mean, I mostly go by either Tree or U Tree or just like just it's shorthand. Yeah. But to me, people think like, the urinating part is very, yeah, crass. No, no well, um, not crass. Um, crude. Yeah, what, whatever. It's a little crude. Saying. I, you know what, the the name urinating tree to me is like if you changed it, that would signal that you sold out, and you can't do that. Hmm. You cannot sell out to the devil and the devil is uh free infrequent urination do not do it i say you keep the name forever it's gotten forever you this ever and ever and ever right. and ever and it'll ever. get you as far as you need to go now are they going to introduce you at the home run derby as no. your tree no, no. I, I, if they two. even if i get in the home run derby i'm laughing hysterically yeah, or or like Jeremy, who's going to the All Star Game to go as a TikTok creator. <laughs> like <laughs> that's funny. Like he said, yeah, I tried to play baseball my whole life. I'm going to the All Star Game as a TikToker. I was like, oh, right, that's cool. I can't wait for him to be at Bros versus Pros and hit a fucking tank, and then we all fucking rush the field. Like, oh uh, yeah, Tucker White. 94. I miss the days when conferences were based on geography. Now the SEC reformed the Confederacy <laughs> and the Big Ten reformed the Union. Yeah, except for uh, those two schools out in California. Yeah. Josh Howard, why am I getting Sears buying Kmart vibes from the Big 12 trying to supposedly poach six teams from the Pac-12. Dude, the Big 12 has taken so many L's over the last couple yeah, of years. I mean, you lost your two biggest schools in Texas and Oklahoma. Yeah. The Big 12 has taken L's. What they should do is just merge with the Pac-12. Like, maybe this is them trying to force the Pac-12's hand, and that would signal a domino effect. Like, then the SEC... And the Big Ten would like get together and form like their little league. It needs to eventually go down to one league, right? So that yeah, so that everyone has like a chance. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like this. It's kind of like relegation, though. It's like the one few thing that one thing that we have that is kind of merit based, right? Because tanking doesn't help you in college football. It just gets you losses, right? Mm -hmm. 
but winning helps. Like, look at Cincinnati. They got into the Final Four, and now they're in the Big Ten, right? Or Cincinnati got promoted, right? Uh, Cincy, I think they did. I'm not sure. Yeah. La Superliga. You read Charlie Hines for 20. Yep. Charlie Hines for 20 bones. Let's go. We're talking about James McCann and JT Real Muto began using Fancy Like as their walk-up song. You may as well have Someday by Nickelback come on over the loudspeakers because you couldn't have picked a worse walk-up song if you tried. Uh, like, nobody likes Applebee's on a date night. You're not going to Applebee's for a date night. You're going there because you're settling and you have, and you just want something to eat. That's why you're going to Applebee's. And that's probably why they chose that walk-up song. That song that is, is the so reason annoying. why Kansas City lost that game against Buffalo. They played fancy like at halftime. That's why. The thing is, if, if McCann could actually hit, I wouldn't mind. He could do whatever he wants. But McCann is like a strikeout machine. And we overpaid for him, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Uh, you know, fancy like is a much worse song for walk up than Cannibal Corpse. Hey, nothing wrong with Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, you Don't hit talk that shit jump. about Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. look, I'm not talking shit about it. I'm saying I'm saying Cannibal Corpse is a way better walk up song than I've always wanted Cannibal. Hammer Smash Face by Cannibal Corpse. Uh, which um, which walk up song are you gonna go with next year? So what I I'm don't gonna... know. I really don't know. If I invite you, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You'll be there. You'll be there. Oh yeah, you are. Uh, you know, I was thinking about today. I was like, I would never like the most think about the most embarrassing sport that we could do against pros. It would definitely be basketball. Like, oh, dude, I, I wouldn't try to play basketball. I'm <laughs> garbage. Could you imagine us trying to play a G League team <laughs> and Scooter being like, look, can you you got to stand here and cut like Scooter trying to do plays and shit and like trying to desperately get us to contribute something while well, as soon as we touch the ball, they just steal my steal the ball from us or dunk on us or oh, just yeah. dribble us and make us fall over. Yeah, basketball was meant me being Jewish and Asian, like it was invented to torture me. Like they were like, Oh, we have this great torture device for you. <laughs> um also, okay, Tucker White. Also, what NFL teams go tanking this season for C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, or whoever the top prospect in 2023? I see Bryce Young not being the guy. It by varies. Now. I mean, they said Sam Howell was going to be the number one pick last year, and he fell to the fifth round. I Nobody had not... Malik Willis or Kenny Pickett in that like first round, and I just don't like Bryce Matt Corral. Young. Same thing. Right. All right. I just I, he doesn't have a big arm. He doesn't have – he's not huge in size. Like, he does things with his legs. He's fast. But it's like – I don't know. I, he doesn't look like 1-1 to me. Like, Kyler Murray wasn't – didn't look 1-1, I guess. But he kind of shot up. Um, but still, I, I, I think that Murray was better than Bryce Young when he finished school. I just – I don't see it. I don't see mm -hmm. it. Stroud is okay. I just I don't know who's gonna be the number one one. It's there's no Trevor Lawrence in this draft. There's no um I don't, I don't even know if there's a Kenny Pickett in the upcoming I don't know. draft. We'll see. Mm hmm Anyways, Con Man752 as a VT fan, if they go to the SEC, I'm not entirely sure if they would ever get back to what they were from 1995 to 2011 as perennial top 10 team. Also, last 10 laps of the British GP was pure fire. Yeah, that whole race was dope. Tech has had problems for years. They have not been good in the ACC. They have never really, other than when Michael Vick was there, they didn't really, you know, in the big games, they had trouble competing. I hear a lot about Tech. Uh, it's just hard to get people to come to Virginia when you could go to Florida, when you could go mm -hmm. play football in, say, Ohio State and be worshipped. Um, I, I get it. Virginia Tech is a big school. It's a nice school, but it's it's hard for them to compete with, you know, other big names. But maybe you'll see some big time illegal shit go on, and uh, maybe they'll put together a team. Uh huh. 
Dodger of Zion Super Conferences are going to kill the FB. Dear God, Tree, what happened to your hair? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, as I said, it's just uh, things got a bit fucky, and I said, "Fuck it, shave it." So, um, yeah. Uh, that's all I got to say. Because I'm sitting there like, hmm. I, I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it looks okay, man. Like, don't, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, it, like I, I that's why see, I didn't complain about it. It's like, you know what? Why don't it you works. zero it just to see what happens? It'll grow back in a week. Just go, uh, go down with the razor. See what well, happens. Well, the problem is like it's going to be pasty white up here. That's yeah, the problem. You, that will make you look even more like a serial yes, killer. Yes, that's the problem. Like, I'd have to wear a cap. You look like a juggalo without his makeup on. Is what yeah, happen. that's the problem. Like, because mm -hmm. like I don't get sun up here. My sun goes up to here. Yeah, and that's why I got to be careful of when I mow the grass soon. Because like, well, I got to wear a cap. Yeah, that new house, man. You got you got a lawn to take care of now. It's mm -hmm. not like living in the city. Well, mm -hmm. I had a small lawn in the city. It's just like uh -huh. a little different. Jason Statham tree. Yes. You look like Jason Statham. If Jason Statham ate like an entire case of donuts. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Unchain America says, "Why does Tree given me a serial killer vibe?" Because I, I already give serial killer vibes. James Amaday, that's what happens when you don't add Gonzaga and you have lousy television network. The Pac-12 is dead. News ever left in it in huge trouble. Gonzaga, do they even have a football team? Zaga? I don't think yeah. so. If they do, they it's probably Division Two. They're just a and Gonzaga's a small private college in Northern California. I don't know why. Maybe maybe it's like how um, Notre Dame is part of the ACC for basketball, but not for football. You know, mm -hmm. Tree got the prime Big Ben look. I don't yeah. know about the prime Big Ben, but prime yeah. Big Ben look is a uh, long hair. Yeah, that's, that's prime the, Big Ben. Yeah. Oh. Who you saying that prime Big Ben? Which one was Rapeless Burger? Was Rapeless Burger was the long mullet. Yeah. That was him. And he was also at his prime. That's why he got away with it. I oh, know. like, oh, uh, that was like young Big Ben had like the bus cut. Yeah. Leader of men. Mm hmm. Hey, that dude could run around like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Gonzaga's in Washington. That's right. I thought it was Northern California. Yeah. Gonzaga's in Washington. I forgot mm -hmm. about that. There's another Gonzaga in California, I'm sure. Probably some private school, some kind, some Catholic school. Gonzaga. Where is Gonzaga? What city is Gonzaga in? I forget. I think uh, it's uh, California. I want to say. No, 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 no. We just said it's in Washington. The chat is saying Washington. Hmm. I forget what the look. name of this Jesuit Mountain West. Spokane, that's it. So that's like Eastern Washington. That's in mm -hmm. the middle of nowhere. Gosh, Washington is huge, but everyone lives in Seattle and Tacoma. Nobody lives in Spokane. Spokane's oh, Spokane, on the other side of the mountain range. There is a Gonzaga High School in D.C. Yeah, that's where, yeah, they're a big time private Catholic school, produce a lot of athletes. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Spokane is also getting the California money treatment, says he, eh? Oh, oh yeah, they're they're getting a lot. California's going everywhere. Boise Spokane, not is where Spokane. they're all going. Spokane. Whatever. All right. What else is going on now in the sports, everybody? Everything. Yeah, everything. Um, <laughs> should we do some sporkle quizzes? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's not much going on right now. We all could right, also fine. talk about um, talk about the baseball. There's we could talk around. about baseball. The Mets are doing really well. Let's look, let's call up the standings. MLB. Well, the Mets are also um, – they haven't really given up much ground on the Braves. It's the Red Sox, Yankees, Mets, and – Guys, Braves, the Yankees are Dodgers. running away with it. Joey yeah. Gallo sucks. Well, the problem, that's all they care about. It's like Joey Gallo fucking sucks, yet you have like a bunch of pitchers having career seasons right now, and it's like, Joey Gallo sucks. It's like Yankees fans dude. have to complain about something. Guess what? We'll trade you. We'll take Joey Gallo, and you take Matt Morris's contract in 2007. You know what? How about that? You, yeah. you can take Bob Nutting. 
Guardians are actually climbing the ladder. They're, they're because the a a AL out. Central's a dog shit division, yeah, the, man. The, the twins, twins are, are, you know, the twins. The White Sox have the geriatric Tony La Russa holding them back. The the Royals have pretty much the worst record in franchise history. Yeah. And the Tigers can't couldn't hit literally anything. He's they're the great boxing opponent. Like yeah, just, the, they, they can't hit. The Tigers suck and Akil Badu is in triple A and they're just letting him rot down well, there. Let, let him rake. I mean whatever. Yeah, but I'm just I don't get it. Astros are running away with it. The AL West is trash. The Mariners are, you know, at 500. Rangers trash. Angels slipping back. They started to get hot again, but they are who we thought they were. Mm -hmm. You go on over to the National League. Mets are decent. Braves are giving them heat. Braves are going to be a wild card team. So, I mean, it depends. I mean, there's still plenty of a season to play. Yeah. Yeah, Mets are, you know, they lose three games in a row. Everyone is burying them, saying the season's over. Marlins actually surprising this year. Eh, Covering they're around okay. 500. Yeah, Sandy Alcantara, okay. who we met. Yeah, we the problem is they still have hitting issues. So their pitching has always been really good. I felt very inferior standing next to Sandy Alcantara. He's like. He's, he's a big boy. Yeah, yeah. He was like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, oh, yeah. Just Super nice dude, though. Super mm -hmm. nice, easy going. You could tell that he was just like, all I care about is baseball. Like, I don't know why you ask me these dumb questions. Like, right, go away. But he wasn't like that. He wasn't like a dickhead. Like, he was just like, are we going to talk about baseball? And then there, then we started talking about tacos. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. I asked him if he was a numbers guy, if he cared about the numbers. He was like, no, I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. It's like, I just want to throw baseballs. All right. The Brewers doing okay. Cardinals, surprisingly not in first. Mm -hmm. Pirates trash. Cubs trash. Well, I mean, most of the NL Central is trash besides Milwaukee and St. Louis. Yeah. Reds Pirates trash. lost like 16 to one. First play I look in, it's O'Neill Cruz missing an easy fly ball in the inning from hell. They left Cam View out there to pitch like 55 pitches. It's like, dude, you're going to rip off that man's arm. <laughs> the, the Pirates, what what can be done about the Pirates? Well, they're in a rebuild. They're, they were tanking, and unfortunately, there's not much you can do until the, everyone develops. They've been rebuilding since like 2015. Like, how are they? Well, I mean, well, you have to remember, 2015 through 2019, they pretended they were relevant, and – that's what happens. And then oh, Neil Cruz is stud, though. Oh my god, he is. He has issues, like, but his his raw ability is uh, it's something phenomenal. It's crazy when if he, when they polish him up, when they get him to you know get the strikeouts down. Uh, his defense is pure already. His speed is otherworldly. But you know, obviously, at the plate, they're going to try to get him to get a little discipline. They might. They might compact that swing a little bit more but that he's so big and he's so strong they just need to simplify the game for him you know make it not so difficult maybe steal some signs for him mm -hmm. james amaday no no mateo 0920 says tree why do you not go by steve i don't know i just never really like the name i mean i'll do it sometimes but it's like eh why don't you change your name to something way cooler like Max Power? Maximum Power. Man. Max Power. Or like, uh, what's like a cool name a dude can have? Butcher. Uh, or maybe, maybe, uh, what, what's, what, what's, and like only I'll cool just smack name? like a big ball and uh, it's four nothing Pirates. We're actually beating oh. the Yankees. I don't know how, but they're beating the Yankees. Come on, Max Tree. <laughs> max million maximum tree yeah come on chat what's a good what's a good johnny sins that's a good dirk dirk is not a good first name super max will power hmm. will power that isn't like know. i don't know you need like a cool name you need to change your name from Steve to like because there's no cool names now. Like Trevor is not a cool name. Well, it's like it's all like Jaden, Hayden, Layden, yep. Baden, Michaela, Traden, TJ. 
Roethlisberger, <laughs> TJ mm -hmm. Roethlis, Steve. Max is a cool name. Max Verstappen. Maximilian. Eustace. You should change your name to A. Eugenio. A. Eugenio. Miles Ooh. is a cool name now. Only if I pronounce it as Eugenio. Yes, Eugenio. Bane. Maybe Bane is a cool name. Urinating Yinzer. Jennifer Lomler. White Sox suck in base running. Poor base running led to a triple play. Yeah, wasn't there? It was a fly out. They got a triple play on a fly out, right? It went to right field, and then someone overran the bases, and then they ended up getting a triple play. That's what we call a rally killer. Mm -hmm. The glories mm -hmm. of White Sox. And, what, and Tony La Russa should know better. Well, World it's La Russa. He doesn't give a shit. World B tree, yes. Lars Nootbar. That's a Ooh, cool Lars Nootbar. That's definitely Former a name. Met farmhand Lars Nootbar. Mm -hmm. I see Wiener. What? Jared Froman, Tigers have solid pitching, and for the first time since 1984, they have a competent bullpen. That's what hurts the most. Tigers, have you seen that? Uh, somebody tweeted... Um, it was like, yeah, the, the Tigers were focusing on progress and they posted their record for the last five years. And they were like, look at all this progress. It was mm -hmm. like 80 and 82 was the best record. 60 wins, 50 wins. Steve Stevens, Shaquille tree. Shaquille tree. <laughs> yeah. yep. you change your name to Shaquille. Anytime your name is Shaq, that's a cool name, right? Oh yeah, Shaq Barrett, Shaq Robinson, Shaq Shaq, Shaq Shaq. You remember God Sham God? He no, for, I do not. He played for the Georgetown Hoyas. Uh, no, Biff I... Webster, I remember that guy. Biff Webster Piff on tree. Mm -hmm. John Wayne Gate tree. Pissed on tree would be a good name for the old tribute to Pat McAfee. That should be. I, I seen him. I seen him. Yeah, <laughs> they, I don't think they actually saw me. It's just. It's just. I think. Tree, I think. I think Pat McAfee's watched your stuff. I, I think doubt he knows. It. I think he knows who you are, because you're a Yinzer that the, everyone's like, "Hey, you gotta watch. You gotta watch uh, urinating." It's like he's seen him. It's like this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> he probably watched him. Was like, "Ah, eh, he's all right." Yeah. No, it's like he sucks. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, F Captain Fat Fuck. Yeah, that, that guy, that tree, that pissed on tree guy. I know that guy, Pat McAtree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he was like, Yeah, I got to go downtown and meet this Yinzer. What would you do if you ran into Pat McAtree? I don't know. You would, would I you really like, don't know. Hey, I'm pissed on tree, and he would be like, Ha. <laughs> yeah. Pat McAfee does not listen. To our podcast. Yeah, I would. Pat, it, it, Mac, he does not. He's too busy going to SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Ball of the yard. Ball of the yard. Go Bear mm -hmm. got traded from Utah to Minnesota. Now, why would the Jazz do that? Brian Winhurst. Think about it. Fred <laughs> goes in the toaster, but toast comes out. What happened to the bread? Ah, <laughs> <sighs> dead air has returned to the show. Everybody that loves some good old dead air. Uh -huh. Oh, you read this one. Yep, that I can do. Give me one second, y'all. And I can get it up there. Pittsburgh is known for its bridges. There are many bridges in the Danton area. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Danton. But. Replay. We have the Manti brothers. Stealing hey guys, our friend CJ could really use a roasting. We have a Madden league that he talks way too much crap and he just got blown out 43 to 3. Doesn't seem to like building a defense. So he's Scooter Magruder. That's what you're saying. He talks all his trash oh, okay. and then he gets Madden. All right. So he wants us to roast CJ who can't play Madden. Listen. All you needed to do was catch the damn train, CJ. This is what I want to tell you. CJ and replay why do you even play madden okay it's just handing off you just half back diving the whole time 
and you can't pass the ball anymore. Did they fix that glitch? Can you actually pass now in the game? I don't, I don't know. know. Everyone that I know that plays Madden just hates it. So they always blame the game, not themselves. That's why I stopped playing the Madden. I stopped in 2016, and I hadn't, I've never looked back six years ago. So, CJ, you took an L on the field. You're taking an L in life by just playing Madden. Boom. They're just Ro taking nothing but L's. Yeah, Everybody's taking the L's. CJ just got roasted. What's up? Now he's like going to hate me for life. <laughs> he's going to go comment on his videos. Do your own research. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, weird baseball fields is coming out and people are going to be like the, but they put up temporary fencing no shit of course they put up temporary fence that doesn't make for good theater now does it no i'm not stupid jared froman weirdly the tigers are five and two against the guardians this season hmm, hmm. interesting hmm Sometimes you just have people's numbers. Like I was not a great hitter in little league, but I was the only kid that could hit Josh bowling and Josh, uh, threw like 70 miles an hour. I was the only kid in the league that could hit him. I wasn't afraid of him. I wasn't no pussy like those other kids. Do were Little you really though? Bitches. Shut up, get your bat and hit. Replay says that was gold. Thanks guys. See, you get your money's worth here. Tell CJ he's a bitch. Right mm -hmm. from your uncle CJ tree. Is, I mean, he is kind of a bitch. Yeah, fuck that dude, CJ. Mister eighty nine. Congrats to the Stallions and the USFL for a successful season. And Izzy defended thy title. I heard Case Cookus broke his collarbone, and I'm devastated. Oof, that that sucks. Mm -hmm. Our Lord and Savior Case Cookus went down with a collarbone injury, and it's sad. Scooter Magruder says, I just saw the tweet. Oh, which tweet? <laughs> oh, Scooter's just walking on in here. He, it, that's what he does. That's what he does. Which tweet is Dost Thou referring to, young Scooter? It's, I got to go on Twitter and look this up. Link Everybody's us to seen the tweet. Tweets. Are they talking about the ball? Did you do a ball tweet or something? Oh, yes, yes. So Scooter has come to inspect your hair, which will be seen on clickbait on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came for the haircut and it's not disappointing. Yes. Scooter loves oh, this. Scooter, how much to get you bald? We could have a trio of bald. Brandon refused to shave his head. Brandon refused. He did not want. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a magical lock of hair. Let's let's be real. What what does Brandon need to look good for though? Like, I I don't understand. We're YouTubers. We don't need to look good for anything. Oh, Scooter's growing his out. Okay, okay. Yeah. I would love to see Scooter with cornrows. I would love to see Scooter with cornrows. Ba 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 ba. All the way down. The, the, just ba 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 ba. That would be majestic. Scooter is working the chat for us. Thank you, Scooter, for coming in. The, the best part of the show. Donovan Gibbs, thoughts on the cesspool, call, cesspool called NBA free agency. Dude, we do this every year. Yeah, we do I mean, the Jazz are every, blowing it up. Yeah. So. We show, because the power in – we talk about the NBA. We're talking about NBA free agency. The power's the in power the players, and unfortunately it's – belongs to the players, which is kind of eh. how it should be. Eh. but the problem with that is is like owners are good at owning things and players are good at playing like there has to be some fairness and value there has to be some loyalty so the, while i do like the drama that the nba creates every off season it kind of sucks if you really like love a player and they come to your team and they're only there for say what 47 games together like Kyrie and kd like, yeah, but uh, it's pretty sad. Pretty mm -hmm. sad that uh, Kyrie was like, I'm coming back. And KD was like, no, I am not. It's like, nope, I ain't dealing with that. Yeah, bye. And if he ends up on the Warriors, then um, that would be even more funny and ironic. 
Mm -hmm. It would actually be not ironic. Like you would, it's actually precedented that he would go back to the Warriors. We got to use irony correctly here. Jared Froman says Eric Haas, a two run shot. Tiger have Tigers have a six, two lead over the guardians. I'm kind of used to the guardians name. Are you? Eh, I still call them the Indians. Right. But like I, the other day I was going to make a joke, you know, how people be trying to do the got you. Like, I can't believe the Titanic sank, you know, like those yep. tweets where they shot arch. And I would be like, Indians just won the world series, but they're not even the Indians. They're yeah. the Guardians. Mm -hmm. the Not Guardians. even funny. Yeah. It'd be funny if they rebranded them as the Indians, but instead of American Indians, it was the Indians. Actual Indians. India. like, And yeah. their mascot is a telemarketer. Right. <laughs> oh, God. I wasn't going to go there, but it was tech support. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Well, that too. Either but way. no, like if they did it tastefully, like if it, if it was just traditional Indian, if their uniforms were like traditional Indian garb, you know, like in the colors, and instead of like uh, garlic fries, they serve curry, you know, yep. like that's what they, I mean. Yeah. I, what just if they have, did like, it, uh, in, just have Bollywood music play in the background? Yeah, yeah. What if they did it like? What if they attempted to do it respectfully and it still came off as everything does when you try to honor an ethnicity it always comes off as crass and oh yeah exploitive. Just mm -hmm. but you know they, they could have like um cow pen throughout the first pitch you know and then uh yeah be great uh they did they actually did a reality show where they went to india and they looked for pitchers like they yep. looked for guys that could because of cricket oh yeah a million dollar arm and the, two, yeah. the pirates actually signed them one of them made yeah. the table, I think. Yeah. Uh, we're super demonetized. I'm just, I'm just, tr there's no rules to comedy here. Okay. Like, we're just trying to be funny. We're not trying to offend. Well, I mean, the problem is we're not really that everyone. funny, though. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's not 2010 here. Right. Well, 2010 Twitter. 2010. If you go back to 2010 Twitter, people said some fucking offensive shit. But and was everyone was great, loving though. it. Now offended and if you just like mm -hmm. you say like anything left wing it'll get like fifty thousand likes just shit yeah, yeah. there you go you get all your likes on twitter if you say yeah if you say anything pro left wing fifty thousand likes if you say anything republican or right wing, you're getting you're ratioed canceled. to hell and back yeah getting shot down canceled instant ratio right for having your beliefs mm -hmm. for having your beliefs well, be careful i'm about feeling that, that scooter is gone now he has gone back. Yeah, I wouldn't. Life. I would also He's believe. Like, I gotta go do stuff. Mm -hmm. Seth Drake and what do you guys think about San Jose Sharks hiring the first black GM and Mike Greer? I say, That's pump right. it up. First of all, Mike Greer is way he qualified. Was a great, he was a good player. Yeah, great player, but also had been working in the Rangers front office. Uh, great scout, uh, talent scout, understands the game. Uh, he's going to be a great addition to the San Jose Sharks. I don't think this has a high. This is not a hire because he's black. It's no, a hire I because he is overqualified for that. And it should have been. It's a long time coming. And I would love to see more blacks in the front office of NHL teams for sure. And I have to say blacks because not everyone is African American that has that that is a person of color in the NHL. There's Canadian. Um, players that happen to be black so they're not no. african-american so that's the i mean that's the nomenclature that we're using now so don't cancel me over that well i'll cancel you anyway because just because i, I just, just because like yeah uh -huh. Do you, I'm, I'm not like look come on let's let's get the terminology correct well you guys keep trying to move the goalposts on us and it's bullshit well, the problem is it's gonna it's gonna be different in like another two years too. We know this. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna they're gonna have to call they'll call it something else. Green Draco three thirteen. Hey five. Have you ever thought about doing a video about Vikings kickers? Yeah, it'll be two minutes long and it'll just be a highlight of Blair Walsh missing. It'll be who else was the Mike uh, Vanderjack, Steve Christie, Carlson missed a bunch yep. of. Uh, didn't Cody Parkey he kicked for them yep, for a Cody while? Parkey mm -hmm, for the Bears, lots mm -hmm. of goalposts. No, no, no. I thought Cody Parkey was a Viking. No, Cody Parkey was a bear. 
No, no, no. Parky's kicked for a lot of teams. Well, he never kicked for the Vikings, I don't think. He kicked for the Dolphins. He kicked for the yep, Browns. Yeah. He kicked for the Titans, Saints. Browns, Saints, Browns twice, mm -hmm. Eagles, and Colts. My bad. What? Dude, Blair Walsh. We got a bot. We got a bot. Best. Oh, I actually have a bot. That's that's when we know we made it. We've made it. Mm -hmm. We've made it. The bots are attacking us. Gary Anderson miss doesn't miss a field mm -hmm. goal the entire Until season. That moment. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't miss a field goal the entire season when they need him to hit. He misses in the NFC championship. They were going to the Super Bowl. They got to Super Ryan Longwell. I forgot about him. Ryan Longwell. Oof. Oh my gosh. And old Packer. Yeah. Mm hmm what else we got on here? Uh, oh, sorry. I had to unplug this because it was twisted. Mm -hmm. What else we got here? Sean Pinkerton. Watching Tree's old lol call vid on Nets, which was pre-KD. Starting to see the Nets have a part two in progress should they trade KD and or Kyrie. I don't think they'd trade Kyrie. They're not going to trade Kyrie because they're going to eat a ton of that salary. They are in rebuild mode. And the problem so, is they can't even rebuild. Those next five picks belong to the Rockets. <laughs> you are so fucked. You know what? They were a foot on the on the line away from a finals. Yes. And that's they the might problem. Have won that finals because they were the only team that could really hang with the Bucks that year. And they took them to the brink. And if KD's foot is three inches further to the right, you're talking about, I mean, the team is probably still going to be broken up, but at least they got a ring out of it. Yeah, but I mean, nobody's mocking him. Yeah, yeah. It's like if Billy King had pulled that trade off for Garnett, uh, Pierce, and... Uh, and they well, ended up winning. Yeah, and they actually ended up winning, but they didn't. Those nope. guys, they, aged. they failed, and that's why yeah. it's hilarious. They age like a porn star after age 30. Just too many drugs just turn into shit. Uh, G's, G Phaser says, keep Californians out of the Big Ten. <laughs> I agree. Californians yeah, doesn't keep make... moving everyone else and giving their shitty football with them. Yeah. See, change their name, right? Like they can't be the Southeastern Conference if they want to market. They they're Don't gonna worry, change they, their they, name. They'll be Southeastern for tradition. Yeah, but they gotta change their name to something else. Like they gotta rebrand because if they want to attract teams on a national scale, they have to be named like the National Conference or the America, the Overlord Conference. Or maybe they just maybe they know they say that the SEC no longer stands for Southeastern Conference. It's just the Strategic Energy Conference. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the the Securities Exchange Commission. Yes, they will be called. They're the going to audit every team that tries to make it in. You got a bot. Yes, I. You know what I love when I see a bot? I always click on it, and I'm just like, right? Because a bunch of emojis. A bunch of squirt emojis turn me on, and that's what that primes me to go check out whatever site that is. Cheap state, it says they don't even write it well. It says cheap sex dating, just girls. Yep, and that, well, they keep going through so many different names, that's why. Yeah, and they change up a couple of them, then they block. And I mean, that, it kind of sounds too good to be true, right. Cheap sex dating. Yeah, that, the, there's no such thing as free sex. You got to pay for no, it somehow. No, you got to buy a McDonald's at least. Makai Wilson, thoughts? That's a cheap That's a cheap date if she, she only wants McDonald's. Yeah. Unchained America Tree renamed himself to Adam. <laughs> that's not a cool name. Not a cool name at all. Uh, Makai Wilson, thoughts on the 2026 World Cup host cities? Okay, so let's look at the 2026 World Cup host cities. Mm -hmm. 2026 World Cup host the host cities. Days. Uh, 
Okay, yep, here we go. New York, Miami, Seattle, Atlanta, San Francisco, Dallas, Boston, Philadelphia, Houston, Nashville, Orlando. Uh, let's see, to boost the economy for 16. Because, oh, they gave them all of them. Yeah, Kansas City's one of them, actually. What? Vancouver, Seattle, San Fran, SoFi Stadium. So Stan Kroenke's raking in that money again. Monterrey, Guadalajara, Mexico City, at Estadio Azteca. Houston, Dallas, Miami, Atlanta, New York, New Jersey, and Boston. Sounds like a I... – oh, hold on. I got to try to log in to I, – I, I, you know what? The thing is, is like usually D.C. is a strong soccer market, and they didn't get one because – FedEx is a is well. FedEx is a shithole, and um, it's a, a combination. Baltimore and uh, yeah, yeah, they're not. And I doing think that's what did them into. It's it's sad because. Uh, uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Gotta log into Discord so that EA can nope. Mm. How do I get in? Hmm. I don't remember. Hmm. All right. How about this? He a check your Twitter. So we can say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kitty. Yes. I sent the DM via Twitter. Anyways, um, my favorite host city is Guadalajara, Mexico. Guadalajara. Because it's great to say. I think that's what does it. Yes. Guadalajara. Yes, yes. Green Draco 313. Hey, Tree, imagine this. Jerry signs AB and his grand entrance into training camp would be him parachuting into the Cowboys practice field. No, I think what would be funny is if AB decides to... No, actually... That would be funny because the Cowboys practice at the Star in Frisco, which is an indoor facility. Yep. <laughs> and AB would land on the roof and be like, "One day, ain't y'all gonna get me down from here?" Right. Nope. That they said happening. my pronunciation was correct for once. Guadalajara. Yes. Mm-hmm. John Al Toro says my pronunciation was correct. Now let's bring in Hie. That we can wish these cats a happy birthday. There's is that you Yang? Someone's or? asleep. Yu Yang is asleep. Oh, happy and birthday. Montana is Two somewhere. Cats. Montana is hiding because she's not a camera diva. She doesn't yeah. like she doesn't do it for the clout. No, she doesn't. Montana does it for the lovins. She does it for the lovins, not for the not for the clout. By the way, everyone in the chat, relax. This is the last month without football until yep. August. Well, then, then we get preseason, have... and then we rev that up, and everything is good again because our channels don't get any momentum until football season. Yep. Mm-hmm. This then year, we I'm bring back Uche, the... and then we have credibility. Yes. Oh, then yeah. we have an actual NFL player weigh in on topics that nobody knows about. Right. Like Tordal, that I would have never discovered had I not met Uche. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. So I told, I've told baseball players about Tordal, and they're like, "What is that?" And they're like, <laughs> "I'm like, yeah, it's this painkiller. Allegedly, it's like a narcotic level." De-. They're like, "Where do you?" They're like, "Where do I get that stuff?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, maybe they don't use it in baseball." Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. It's a uh, rather humid and warm day outside, and I just came back in from being on the bicycle and going out to two uh, two different stores to look at pieces of countertop for the kitchen. Oh, you're doing the kitchen up, huh? Yep, and I yeah. have picked out a countertop. I'm going to do the kitchen in granite. Nice, nice. Don't take it for granite. Mm-hmm. Ha, 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 Make ha, sure ha, you ha, appreciate. Ha, ha. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was trying to be punny, and uh, I didn't. It didn't. 
didn't work. It happens. Work. Don't worry. You you tried five. You tried. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dad joke. Uh, it landed about like a dad joke does. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm just having a good time. I'm just just trying to be there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, how's everything else besides that? Did are you excited to see the model that I produce for you? Yes, I'm excited to see the uh, the big Toyota that came from Gran Turismo mm-hmm. Three. There was oh, one that's what that do. is. I'll be right back. Uh oh, nope, trees on the road. Got some diarrhea. Yeah. No, I, I, you know what it is. What, what is going on? I have a feeling, but I'm just gonna let him show it. Does urinate? Does tree need to urinate? I know what I need to do. And apparently, I owe this for a little bit. Banana. Oh yes, <laughs> the punishment I, is yeah. here. That's why I figured, you know, we have nothing going on, so I might as well do the the sexual banana. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, you have to make eye contact. Look into the camera and stare us down. Come on. Yep. There you go. With the bald head. <laughs> put that fucking put Joey Chestnut that banana. There you go. Oh God, my penis. Now, <laughs> now, where's your neighbor to come running in with that stupid, that stupid banner about the Death Star? Yeah, yeah, yeah go triangle. tackle your neighbor. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, no. Come on, eat Hold that on. whole yeah. thing. There you oh. go. Mm, oh, avalanche and six. I can't, I can't pull my hair back. Avalanche the, and six. Where in the hell is Scooter at? Isn't he the one who's supposed to be cliffing this shit? Uh, no, nah, I mean, he was here. He here said he go. was loitering earlier, but... Yeah, I, you know... Let me see if I can ping him. He doesn't have to be yeah, here. Yeah, I can't ping him. He's gone. No. He veto. He did not want to roast us because he's such a nice guy. He was like, "I don't, I don't want to roast y'all." And I was like, "That's fine. You don't have to roast us." Oh, come oh on. I would have done it easily. I would have shredded every single one of you. I, yeah, I know. I, you would have been like, "And five, five is ball." Wait a minute. No, actually, I, I knew. I know what I'm going to do. To you. I'm not going to spoil it. All right. Did you finish that? Freaking. Yes, I did finish the banana. All right. We yes, lost about 30 bitter. people in the process. God. Yeah. Well, and we're that getting is ready. The Avalanche winning the Stanley Cup. All okay. we had to do is just play the sexual music in the background during that whole thing. Oh, don't worry. Somebody will do it. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the shoop is coming. Word of the night, bald. No, I was trying to. Very, very bald. We are demonetized. All right. We made it an hour. Very slow evening in the sports. I thought I saw. Uh, O'Connor Thompson says the Dallas Cowboys will go 0-18. Um, I thought I saw a uh, something, but I was wrong. Anyways, Tree, do you have anything coming out? Well, I'm thinking about working on a vid on the 2021 Oakland Ra- or the Las Vegas Raiders season. How turbulent that was. Okay. Uh, I thought okay. you were about to say Las Vegas A's there for a second. Mm. Well, very close. That could be too. That could happen. I am coming out with a video on uh, the amazingly petty reason why the Cardinals moved to Arizona. Like, you guys have no idea why. Like, it was such a bitch move by the bid by Bill Bidwell. Well, yeah, Bidwell, I, and it wasn't the only the only comments he ever made about it was so petty and just so like. Insignificant. I'll tell you guys after the, I'm, after we. Go. I'm aware of the story. Yeah, you know what it is, Hea, but not many yeah. people know. So, anyways, all right, Hea, you got anything to say before we jump out? Uh, I hope everybody continues to have a safe summer and mm-hmm. be responsible when it comes to alcohol, fireworks, and operating uh, motorized okay. vehicles. Yes. As the corny Pittsburgh area said, don't go star-spangled hammered. Yes. All right, everyone. Love y'all. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you next week. Maybe we'll have something more interesting to talk about other than tree wolfing down a banana. And And being bald. bald. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love y'all. See you next week. See ya.